What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to teach you to add a video that plays on something like a TV inside of your renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I did not realize even last week that you could actually do this, um, but somebody actually chimed in on one of my videos and uh, said that this was possible, so I kind of dug in a little bit deeper, and uh, you can actually apply a video texture inside of Lumion. So let's go ahead and talk about that a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is this is one of the example models that comes in Lumion. So this one in particular, when you open this up is going to be the living room interior model. And so inside of the living room interior model, there's a space over here for a TV. And so initially there's just kind of a texture applied to this face. What I've done is I've downloaded one of SketchUp's TVs and uh, I've got the TV material in here separate from the material around the edge. So that's gonna be important when we replace the material here, but I've just imported that into Lumion. And so what we're going to do for this um, material is we're going to go in and we're going to go to the materials section in order to apply a video. So um, you apply the video texture using the material editor and then you find the face that you want that, uh, you want that video to play on. So in this case I want it to play on this corrugate shiny material. And so I'm going to go ahead and select that by clicking on it. And then what we're going to do is inside of our material library, we're going to go down and we're going to click on a standard material. And so when we click on a standard material, what this does is this applies some different gloss things and some other things like that. And we're going to make some changes. So the first thing we're going to change is we're going to come in here and we're going to click on the button for choose color map. And so when we click on the button for choose color map, we're going to go in and instead of finding a texture material, we're going to find a video material. And in this case, I'm using an MP4 file. I think that may be the only kind of video file this takes. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But this is the this is a video that we created for my SketchUp channel the other day. So it's just kind of a, a rotating, orbiting video um, with an exploded view of an engine. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to have this play on the TV. And so what you do is you just find the video that you want to play and um, you may want to try to keep this to a fairly small video file. Um, I would not want this to be like a super big video file because I'm sure it would slow everything way down. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to double click on this engine exploded view video and apply that to this face. And so if you look at this, you can see how this has applied that video to this face, but it's not really located where we want it to be. You can see how it's kind of flashing on and flashing off, and it doesn't look very good, so we're going to make some changes. And so what we want to do is we want to make a few different changes in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the gloss on this image because you can see how when I have this gloss turned on it's really kind of reflecting a bunch and you can't really see what's on the screen so we're gonna turn that down for right now and uh, you can see how that gives us a little bit better view of what's going on in the video and we can come back and adjust that back up later if that's an effect that you want but the next thing we need to do is we need to place this video on the TV and so there's two things we're gonna adjust in order to do that the first thing that we're gonna adjust is gonna be the map scale and the second thing we're going to adjust is the X, Y, and Z offset. And actually we may adjust the X, Y, Z offset first. But basically what we want to do is we want to adjust this offset by clicking and dragging this to adjust where that video file shows up on our TV. And so the first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to adjust the uh, scale in here. So you can see how when I adjust the scale, what this is allowing me to do is this is allowing me to adjust the size of the video that's being played on this screen. And so it's just basically tiling this in here. So what we have to do is we have to use that XY offset. There we go. So we have to use the scale settings as well as those offsets to get this video kind of centered on our screen. So you can see how there's definitely some playing around with those different settings in order to get that centered in here. And so once I get this centered, then it's kind of the way that I want it to be. So you need to start by adjusting your scale and then adjust your X and Y offset. And you can see how now that video is playing on this screen. And so what I'm gonna do is now that this is playing what I want it to play, I'm gonna click the button for save changes. And you can see how now as I fly around, 
this video is actually playing in the background. So you can actually use this to uh, set this up so that it's playing in the background. And real quick, let's let's uh, mess around with this. I'm not 100% sure what this is going to do. But I think that what I want to do is I want to take this video and I'm going to First of all, I'm going to make it nighttime, so I'm going to go into the weather settings and turn my sun height down. But then inside of my materials, I'm going to edit this material again, and we're going to go into the option for emissive. And so when we go into the option for emissive, you can see how what that's going to do is that's actually going to emit light. So we can actually use this to light this screen up as well. So you can do kind of like a nighttime scene with the light coming off of this screen. And I will tell you, I'm not 100% sure how that renders. Um, I'm not sure if the light that comes off of this would light the room or not if we made a video. Um, we may toy around with that in another video. But for this one, we're gonna go ahead and in our actual rendering, we're gonna have it be a daytime render. But now, let's say that we wanted to render a video with this video playing on the TV. Well, what we would do is we would go into movie mode in order to do that. And so when we go into movie mode, and I will go ahead and create a new scene. So by default, this scene is gonna show up, but we're gonna go ahead and create a new scene. So we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna click record. And we're just kind of kind of center that view inside of our rendering. So something like this, it doesn't really matter that much, but we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna take a photo. So when we take a photo, that's gonna basically give us our viewport or our view that's gonna be rendered. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this up to maybe like a, we'll call it a 10 second video or something like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and click the checkbox. And so now what we do is we do what we usually do where we set up our style. So for this one, I'm just gonna load one of my uh, preset effects that I've created. So in this case, I've loaded um, one of my presets. This one is the preset um, that has my realistic shadows in it. Um, so that way I've got sun coming through the windows and all those different things as well. And we might adjust the sun heading a little bit so it's not casting a shadow on that TV. Uh, maybe we want it to, ca or, uh, to shine through like this or something like that. But now if we play this video, you can see how the tree is moving around outside. And then uh, also this video is playing in the background. And so once we've got that kind of set the way, the way that we want it to be, and if you wanted to, you could maybe add like another view or something like that. So let's say maybe we wanted this to orbit over here to give you kind of a look of the rest of the room. We could maybe insert a new photo right here. And if you were to play the, and if you were to click the play button, you can see how that's gonna animate this transition kind of behind this plant, which isn't the best thing in the world, but um, we'll go ahead and leave it for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and make this back into about a 10 second clip. Like this, you can see how this will orbit across the room while your video is playing. And so once you've kind of got this set the way that you want it to, maybe we'll move this camera forward a little bit so we don't get the uh, plant in the way. But once you have that kind of set the way you want it to be, you can just come in here and you can just render your clip. And so we do the same thing that we always do where we set um, the resolution, our frame rate, all of that stuff. And we're just gonna let this go ahead and go through and render our different frames. So it's gonna go through and it's gonna render these different frames and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at our result. All right, so now if we go in and we take a look at what our, uh, what our video looks like, you can see how we've got a really nice render of a TV in the background that's kind of casting some light around it, as well as the light coming in through the windows as well. Um, I'd like to see maybe a different texture applied to these walls, but overall, I feel like this looks pretty good. Um, you know, maybe we'd want to like turn the exposure up or something like that to get a little more light into this uh, into this scene. But overall, it's nice to be able to quickly apply a video to this 
TV and have it play in the background inside of your renderings. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did you like this? Did you know Lumion could do this? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.